Hello and welcome to my channel. Today's video will be about installing audio speakers on the inner portion of my fairing of my 2006 Harley Davidson Road Glide. And you may ask, what am I talking about? As you can see, I have everything stripped down and ready. I have the outer fairing and the inner fairing removed getting ready for the new install. I am going to install these Polk 6.5 coaxial speakers which are marine certified into the inner portion of my fairing. And I will be using that grill. And as a note, that grill did not come with the speakers. I ordered that separately on, on eBay. Because the grill that came with the speakers is not uh, sufficient for for my needs, but I will be taking that speaker here, installing it on the inner portion of my inner fairing here. That would be about right here on both sides, obviously. And I've taken the interfering out because it's, it needs, it's in bad need of a new paint job so I'm going to get that taken care of all at one time. This is a bit of my radio history. That is what I started with. The stock Harley Davidson radio which was adequate. It was okay and I discovered quickly that you can't carry enough CDs to have a variety of music with you. So after that I migrated to this radio. It's the Jensen radio, which I thought was the coolest thing at the at the time. It's expensive, and it was fine. It worked great for approximately six months. Then after that, it started skipping on my MP3 player. It would play songs and it wouldn't play, and then it would stop playing altogether until I turned the unit off and then turned it back on. Uh, two or three hours later then it would play again that was not acceptable and for some reason or another too the right speaker would always go out and the first time that happened I thought it was the speaker itself so I called Hogtunes and they immediately sent me another speaker without any questions being asked they sent me another speaker but it wasn't the speaker I think it's the unit itself and now I'm going to install this radio. This is an aquatic radio for the Harley Davidson. It's a plug and play. I will say one thing about the Jensen. It was definitely plug and play for me. Took the stock radio out, put the Jensen in, hooked right up, no problem. And I think I'm going to have the same success with the aquatic radio here. I'm just hoping it's a better unit than the than the Jensen unit. Okay, decision time. I've used the speaker support here as a template for cutting the five inch diameter hole that's needed for the speaker. And I duplicated this on the other side as best I could. It's probably not a perfect match, but I don't think it's off more than an eighth of an inch or so. You won't be able to tell by looking at it. But here's the thing. Once I make this cut, there's no going back. So do I really want to put these speakers in here or do I not? If you're placing this in the fairing, you can imagine how much that would cost. Okay, thank okay, you. I drew up my pre-hole and for this task, for cutting in the circle, I will be using this guy should work fairly well with this tip here it goes no turning back now I already have a hole in it okay the first hole is cut and as you can see it's not flawless it's not perfect but it works well and I also need to point out because of the box here for the interfering the glove box there you need to have a shallow 
mount speakers as these are. This how it will fit. And that's how the speaker will fit in its hole. Now I cut the other side. Continue. There's one thing I wanted to add about cutting your hole and your interfering. It is better to make the hole too small than too large. Because if it's too small, you can always enlarge it. But if it's too big, you cannot make it smaller. So that's going to be rule number one. Make the hole smaller and you can always enlarge it. Okay? Thank you. Okay, both speaker holes are cut. And if you notice, this hole is a little bit better than the first one I did. I discovered, by trial and error, that if I hold the Dremel with at about a 45 degree angle, I could control the cut better than trying to come in straight at 90 degrees. It worked a lot better. And I also discovered if I could do it with two hands, I could control the tool a lot better. It's kind of awkward working in this little small space, but I got it. Now it's off to the paint shop for this thing here. And then the rest of the installation will be in a few days after I get the unit back. I'm going to clean these holes up a bit. They look a little ra ra a bit ragged. And it's no big deal because you don't want to ever see them, but I know it's there, so I'm going to sand that down a little bit. Thank you. All right, I'm going to use the Dremel here, the sanding disc on it to clean up the hole just a bit. And on a lower speed, I don't need to go that fast since I'm not cutting through the hard plastic. Let's uh, clean the hole up a bit. All right, we're back here, and this is a mock-up. One of the speakers installed on the left side as you sit on the motorcycle. I had to do a lot of things to, to get this thing in there to look decent. Mechanically everything was okay, but I, I was going for some aesthetics also. Let me show you something else in the in the back what I did. The fasteners that I put in the back that I made, uh -huh. they're real tight, they fit extremely well, and I don't think it's gonna allow anything to slip and slide and move around. They're made out of aluminum, and once you screw the screw in, it, it goes right back in uh, fairly easily. So this is the fit. Come out pretty good. This is a lot of work. Tell you if I wasn't taking this interfering out to have it painted, I, I wouldn't do it just to install some speakers, that's for sure. It's a lot of work. I think it's gonna pay off in the end. It's just a lot of work. All right, I've got both speakers installed. This is the mock-up. Now I gotta take everything apart so I can have the interfering painted and put it all back together again. But I'm somewhat happy with the way things came out. Look pretty good. When I put it together, I will be running two amplifiers. A 250 watt amplifier for these six and a half and I have a 200 watt amplifier for the speakers on top. All right, I'll get back to you later. Well, welcome back. Uh, this is JT Morris Rice again. Okay, at long last, I finally got my interfering back from the painter. Took a long time. Apparently my guy had a problem with his paint booth before he could get it back to me. But this guy does phenomenal work. It was worth it. He told me it'd be two or three days. It ended up being a couple of weeks. But I got it now, so I'm going to reinstall the speakers here. Then after that, I'm going to end up putting it back on the bike. Let me show you what the bike looks like. Okay, here's the front of the bike. As you can see, the inner fairing and the outer fairing are both missing. You know, I'm going to need to do something about that sometime in the future. And it's not going to look that good now, but not right now. I'll get this done. I can take that off later. But as you can see, all the wires are just hanging down all over the damn place. But it's cool. Everything's labeled. I use an, this time I use an alphabet system. Whereas, I put a piece of blue tape. And these two terminals that go together to another part, A matches A, B matches B, C matches C, and so forth and so on, all through, down through the alphabet. 
and what X, what when I get to an A, put it up with A. So it actually should go together pretty good. I find out I'm going to start on that right now. So, okay, I'm going to get ready to install the speakers right now. Just got this back, so I'm excited to get this thing done. Alrighty. I'm about ready to put the first speaker in, but before I do that, I wanted to point out a potential issue here. Right here, around this, on the speaker, on the edge here, is a potential for leakage because it's not going to be watertight. The speaker itself, we know that's a watertight seal because it's a marine speaker, but around here there can be leakage. So, what I'm going to do, I am going to use this ultra black gasket maker. It should create a, a nice watertight seal so that water doesn't leak in there. And not only that, it stays somewhat pliable so that in the future, you need to take the speaker off, you can't. It'll create a seal, but it won't be something that won't be impossible to get off. Like if you use goop or something like that, which is a glue sealant, it, it, it that thing will never come off again. But like I said, the potential problem is here, around this edge, all the way around. So I use some of this, the Ultra Black Gasket Maker. To uh, create a seal, a watertight seal. Okay. All right. The speakers are installed. I'm pretty happy with that. It just take a couple hours for the maker gasket to cure, but that won't be an issue because I got other things to do anyway. I'm gonna get ready to put this thing back on the bike. So looking forward to getting that done, taken care of. But that's the installation of the speakers. They're in. And I'm excited to get this thing going and hear what it sounds like. All right, I'll talk to you in a bit. Well, all right, I've got the end of fairing back on the motorcycle. Uh, let's see here. Oh, wait a minute. There we go. You see amplifiers, there's one there and one there. It's on. Happy to get that done. You can go watch Game of Thrones, though. It looks like it's back on. Let to insert the radio. Right about now. Get that, get that in there so I can see what it looks like. Just for fun. But yeah, it's back on. It's good. Well, hello again. Well, getting closer and closer. I got the radio in. So I got the top speakers on. The speakers over here. All the gauges have been installed. I'm hooking all the wires back up. That's what she looks like from the front. It's a much better looking unit than it was before. Looking really nice. I'm really happy with the paint job the way it came out. Really happy with that. We're kind of taking my time back here. You don't need to rush it, right? You see how I hit the wires up here? That. Trying to be as neat as possible. There's a lot of stuff going on under this fairing. But the radio, thank goodness, is plug and play. So that's that's a good deal. Alright, hopefully I finish it up tomorrow. Sorry this video is just taking so long. But uh, so many things are going on. Okay. Be back in a bit. I got everything in. Everything works. I'm pretty damn happy about that. Looking good. I haven't said anything. So let's see what it sounds like. I don't know how this is going to sound on the internet, but let's rev it up a little bit. Now all I have to do is put the other fairy back on, Cap. That's the right there. 
came off was crack. My glass cracked, so I had to buy a new one of those. This one is just for the new speakers in the lower part of the fairing. And this is my hall tuned down for the speakers here. The upper speakers. It is finally complete. Everything is hooked up. Everything is working. I am going to now put the auto fairing back on. If you notice, I changed out these top speakers here. Let's see if I can get that in focus. I changed out the top speakers. I don't know if something was wrong with the hog tunes. They just weren't working right. They just weren't doing what they were supposed to do. So I got some Polk 5x7s. This area. And they sound good. Once I get the fairing on, I fire it up again. Because with the fairing on it, it sounds different than with the fairing off. Obviously because it creates the shell. But, happy with it. I hope this... I hope this part goes easy. We'll see. But that's it. All the wires are going where they're supposed to go. Everything's working good. Alright. It's done. It's completed. I have the outer shell back on the bike. And my speakers are installed. The radio's installed. I did not in this video go through any of the wiring. There are so many videos out that go to the wiring of your speakers and your amplifier so I didn't I didn't cover that I may have shown you it but I didn't I didn't talk about it. the only thing I may have done that may be a little different is that I pull the power for the amplifier both amplifiers straight off the battery the power in the ground I have a 15 gauge wire coming off the battery going up into the front of the fairing for the amplifiers and the ground wire also. I wanted to have a solid ground. As you know, there's a lot of plastic up there, so it's not a whole lot of metal that you can attach to for a good solid ground. And that's why I use the ground from the battery. It's a solid ground and no mistakes about that. Now I'll turn this on for you so we can see what it sounds like. I have two five by seven poke speakers on top and I have the speakers that I installed here you can see them it's one there and one there the sound is crisp and it's clear I'm running a 250 watt amp on the bottom speakers I have those set up for the rear and the stop speakers here are running a 200 watt amplifier let's see what it sounds like here we go. And that's it. That completes this video on installing lower speakers in your road glide fairings. I hope this helps someone out because I couldn't find anything on it. All right, take care. Thanks for looking and please like and subscribe to my channel. I have more things coming up. All right, I'll talk to you later. You can't take care. Bye.